of lockdown Dif different tiers of lockdown manchester tier four lancashire tier three and birmingham tier two different different tier tier everybody is just crying like in tears Did a beggar. lockdown what more lockdown saint catherine lockdown yo my youtube family so welcome back to our youtube channel We're back again with another one you know what i'm saying um you guys please go and subscribe like comment share, and subscribe but also click on the bell button so that whenever i upload a new video you don't miss out you know what i'm saying you'll be alerted you don't want to miss out so today i'm bringing you guys um trending news trending matters trending issues all over social media even if it's not trending but i think it's cool for you guys to see and you guys to hear i'm bringing it to you guys so today we're just going to be discussing about the national lockdown put in place by the UK government we, um, yesterday or today. Today is the 5th of January 2021 and I think the lockdown was placed yesterday or today or maybe he said it yesterday for it to be put in place from today. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Hey, the lockdown, we are in lockdown. So, um, <clears throat> I just want to like, because the whole of 2020, we've, we've been in lockdown. Different levels of lockdown, different tiers of lockdown. Manchester tier four, Lancashire tier three, and Birmingham tier two. Different, different tier tier. Everybody is just crying like in tears. Did a beggar lockdown? What more lockdown? Saint Catherine lockdown, lockdown city lockdown, lockdown Frankfurt, South Spring, Bulbe, Kingston, Saint Andrew, Tukulalandum. It's, it's just it's been insane it's been insane like everybody's birthday lockdown like balloons inside the house um where's the balloon this one's gone but anyway it's been it's been crazy it's been crazy so now we enter 2021 we're feeling hopeful thinking uh, by god's grace vaccines are coming out and um, things will be getting better next thing you know government lockdown put us in another lockdown and this time around is i think it's similar to the one that they did in march the first lockdown but um essential places are open like the um, supermarkets and um i think the mechanics they are open as well so but so the annoying thing is that like People are feeling hopeful that places will be open so they can get on with their lives, blah, blah, blah. Some people even had have, have driving tests, driving lessons. It's just been pushed back. I even saw somebody tweeted that uh, the UK is going to force me to drive illegally. People are fed up at this point. People are just fed up. Even me, myself, I'm even fed up. But at the same time, we want everything to go back to normal in a good way, in a good manner. We still have to be sensible, you know. We, we live, sometimes we might live with people that are vulnerable to this um, coronavirus or people that can easily catch it or so on and so forth. So I still have to be sensible, be wise, follow the guidelines and just try to enjoy life however I can, however it's possible to do so. And um, <clears throat> uh, some people's um, frustration as well. but. Other people are angry at other people that haven't been following the um, guideline and people are happy that this lockdown has been put in place because some people have been out partying even on New Year's Eve there are lots of videos that people just gather together just turning up partying in like there was this video I saw where the house they had like a house party you couldn't even see the ground you don't know where you're walking because the house was so packed and I don't know man it's a bit too much um i guess it's it's okay at least maybe a couple of your friends or just your family but not like some because the way the parties are it's like people are acting like the virus is gone it's not gone like you see parties going on as people from different areas different places you don't uh, some places you don't know where people have been you don't know who they come in contact with and so on but anyway I'm just going to read some of the tweets that people have been tweeting. People are very upset. And so because, so somebody tweeted, cancel tuition fees for university students for 2020 and 2020, 2021. 
year of education. This is not a full education. So this person is very upset because the government haven't even mentioned anything about university students. Nobody is talking about um, uni students getting a refund for their uh, student loan, their accommodation, um, rents that they've paid for. Now people have paid rent and their money is tied down for the whole year. They are not getting anything back. Nobody's saying anything. Like I have, I, I know some people that they've everything has moved to online, online studying, but it's not the same. You're not basically getting your money's worth. You know how much people are paying for this student um, education, the university fees, and then their accommodation. It's not small money, even though most people get their get funded by the student finance at the end of the day we still have to pay that money back so it's not it's it's not right at all I understand what this person is saying and then the other person somebody else tweeted shall this lockdown is is supporting my celibacy god is in control <laughs> it's a funny tweet but <laughs> it's a funny tweet but this this person is right because because Without this lockdown, there's a lot of things that would have been happening. A lot of different things. Even seem something simple as just spending, going out and spending. Now because it's a lockdown, there's no way to even go. There's no way to even go. So people have to save money. You have to save money. So there's no way to even go. So people are having to save money by force, you know. So they're not doing things that they normally do. Which is good. I mean, it's good in some way, at least in terms of if you want to save and, you know, yeah. So let's go to the next one. Somebody posted a picture of uh, somebody lying down with their laptop. <laughs> and they said, how I'll be attending online lessons. <laughs> and that's true, you know. But, but you know, like, to some online lessons when there's a video cam, video camera. You have to kind of like, maybe you say, oh, your camera is not working, or you don't even turn your camera on as well. You just turn the mic on and that's it. So you can maybe move around your house, maybe be watching movies, eating, and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Um, and then let's go to the next one. <laughs> Let me see what's there. So somebody else tweeted, the year ended in four days. <laughs> ah, you know, like, some things, yeah, it's not a funny situation, but it's funny because of the tweets if I'm making. Like, what, what else can we do, yeah? What else? This is entertainment for ourselves and maybe to make ourselves feel better. So the person said the year ended in four days because this national lockdown... I think it's up until March or April and even even then only God knows they could even extend it as well they could probably even extend it that's the whole year gone just like how 2020 went phew 2020 just went like this phew next thing you know 2021 will be gone like that phew like it's insane I don't even know you can't it's not you cannot even plan or even make plans to say uh, this year I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. Because you don't know. This We are at a point where we just have to take life, JJ, be grateful for life, and try to make the most of it how we can, and just be safe. You know, health is more important, you know what I'm saying? Health is more important at this stage of life. At this, for how many years we've been working hard, doing this, mad shifts, going to uni, studying, studying, and so on. To a point where you make plans now, it's not going to go ahead. But anyway, so that's the end of the that's the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you comment down as well. Comment down what you think about this national lockdown. Comment down how your government is trying to tackle this coronavirus. Wherever you are, wherever whichever country you're in, just comment down below. So let's let's have a discussion. You know what I'm saying. If you're a uni student as well, let's know how you feel about this and how you're coping with it, you know? So yes, my people, so that's the end of the video. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. 
click on the bell button as well. I'll see you in the next one.